Good morning. I'm going to show the um, my new Halloween journals that I just made. I used a um, like cutie uh, scrapbook pad from Michaels. It was like it just had cutesy colors like pinks and purples um, and cute ghosts and stuff. So it just I was like, all right, I'm going to make a pink journal. And so if you're familiar with Michael's scrapbook pads, it has two pages of every design. And so I decided to make two books, one for me, this is one is mine, and then one for resale. So um, all together it has three signatures with 40 pages. So if you count the front and the back, then that would be like 80 pages. So, um, and I upcycled the covers. So the paper pad, of course, the front and the back is like, cardstock cardboard and so that's what I made the covers out of and then I did just this uh, making like the faux leather look and then accented it with some gold paint and I did tie the signatures in permanently added some cute little charms I have a little charm that says trick or treat a little skeleton some pink glass beads uh, this little pearl cage with a spider on it some vintage buttons and then another glass bead so i had so much fun making this it was just like you know i love halloween and it doesn't always have to be creepy <clears throat> in my opinion this is pretty darn cute so um so it's a combination of the scrapbook paper from the paper pad and then a combination of my collection of vintage papers so the first signature this is from the paper pad and i did a double layer where there's a pocket in between and i made a tag um, it has a little decoupage napkin on it and then it's blank on the other side so it can be used as a journaling card i have a lot of little tuck spots with journaling cards here is a tea stain index card and then here's some vintage paper tea stained couple more index cards just stamped with some Halloween stamps I have. I sewed a lot. The tuck spots are sewed in. This is um, pink paper and I just painted the other side to um, just stained it a little with ink to give it a little more vintage look. Um, and then this has a little two like flower cards and then a little, another little tuck spot vintage paper. This is vintage grid paper. And then this is um, paper from Washington University. I actually ended up using the last of my paper in this, of this Washington University. I wish I had more. It was really fun to work with, but completely out of that vintage paper. And then this is a, isn't that cute? These little pink ghosts. Um, this has a little folder pocket, and then it has an index card in there. Just blank on the other side so you can journal on it. And this is a little envelope I made and it just has a bunch of little like um, tags. And then a little tuck spot right there. Um, the, uh, th this is the middle of the first signature so now we're seeing the other side of those vintage papers. There's a little bookmark. Um, let's see little vintage guest check another another index card to journal on another tuck spot another uh, pocket that has a tag I made that uh, can be used as a journal card and that's the end of the first signature so the second signature look at these skulls they are so pretty uh, same thing there is an index or I'm sorry a tag I made um, this paper scrap of paper was blank on one side and so a lot of times I sew two pieces together, but a lot of times I left it as is because that is perfect to use as a journaling card. So one side of the tag you can um, journal on. These are two cute little, uh, I don't know, die cuts I got at some craft store. They're just adorable, so I added that. And then this has a side pocket that has a card in it. Um, design on one side and blank on the other. And then here's just a little vintage uh, doily, some more paper, another pocket with a bookmark, some more grid paper. This is a treat bag, and I just put this another uh, little card in it. This is the middle of the book, and so it says Happy Halloween. And then on the other side is another treat bag, and this has a little kitty on it. 
And uh, just another little bookmark. The other side of the doily. Another side pocket with a journaling card in it. Little tag. And then back here is another tag. Okay, so now that is the end of the second signature. Now we're going to the third signature. Same thing, there is a tag in between those layers. Little pocket right here, just like a little bookmark. Another, I do love these side pockets. And then some more paper, little doily, tuck stock, vintage grid paper. And then this is the middle of the last signature. A um, couple tuck spots right here. And then another tuck spot right here. Another side pocket with a card. And then these are little two little die cuts I got on my, I have my cuddle bug. I think they're like Tim Holtz. So a little coffin cards use that as a tag or a journaling card and then another tag right there my die cut I'm still not an expert at die cuts that's why I don't have like tons inserted these were hard to make so I only made two and then that is the end of the book it's I did not do a closure um I don't know I'm not a huge fan of closures I like it to look just like a classic book and most books don't have closures, and so it is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you later.